What's up, guys? Well, we're back here, and today we are playing one of my favorite decks. Yeah, we are playing Dead Man's Hand. Um, for those who don't know what Dead Man's Hand is, uh, a long time ago, I believe in the first thro Frozen Throne set, right? Yeah, in the first Frozen Throne set, they printed a card called Dead Man's Hand, which shuffles a copy of your hand into your deck. So when you have two of them and you have a Dead Man's in your hand. Right, if you are, or you have both of them in your hand and you play one, you're shuffling the other dead man's hand into your deck. Therefore, you can never really run out of cards. If you're tired of losing to mill decks, you could kind of play a mill deck that shits on the other mill decks, kind of. Because sure they have jade idols, but you have brawl. <laughs> and you have removal. But uh no. Um actually I don't I don't really have much else to say besides let's fucking give it up, boys. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, Deadman says it's just a really, really fun deck. To be fair, like, we do beat Jade Idol because we have Skulking Geist. Um, we can beat other forms of decks with Azelina in the sideboard. Uh, or else, I mean, Deadman's sending a couple of Yawks, anyone? Anyone down for that? I am. So, uh, yeah. So, with all that being said, how about we keep the first game and let's, let's just see how it goes. All right, guys? Yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first one. All right, so our first matchup is a uh, mage. I don't want <laughs> this in my opener. Um, yeah, we're just looking for early game removal. Um, yeah. I am worried that it could, like if this is quest mage, we're probably screwed. I guess the only way we can beat Quest Mage is through Theo. When he completes Quest, doesn't play it the turn he completes it, then we Theo it out of his hand. If we manage to do that, we're god game. Okay, so we have to go for that play. So Theo is the single most important card to draw here. We're doing everything in our path to draw. If he doesn't play a spell here, I can actually do this. <laughs> Get my own quest. I can get my own quest. Uh, I can't create spells easily except for Dead Man's Hand. But you know what? YOLO? Okay, this this just seems funny. <laughs> I went I went for this play not because it's good. Oh, I guess we also have Sunwell. He hit eight things off Sunwell. Rancor's okay. Um, I'm gonna wait for this on six. Because we can do this into this. Eats all the one ones. It does two damage to this, which kind of sucks, but it also gains a six armor, which is pretty good. Yeah. We can also technically Theo some of his ways to cast spells multiple times. But I would ideally like to just Theo away the, the uh, what is it called? Ramp spell, with the take an extra turn, time walk. I don't know why I can, or sorry, time warp. Time walk is the broken one for magic. I, I can actually just go this now. I really want to. No, I'm just gonna go the slow but steady route. I think it should be fine. Hmm. So, yeah, we need to find Sunwell, we need to find Dead Man's Hand. We know we have to hit it for eight, right? So many. Sunwell for eight? So you have two cards in our hand? Okay, I don't know if this is ever going to be playable, but it might. It also sucks that we hit Quest Mage because it is our single worst matchup. It's it's every control deck's nightmare is that you have like 15 turns or like 10 turns max to like win the game. Even 10 turns being like generous, it's like typically like seven. Which is another reason why these aggro E play is really, really good. Is because coining the guy out on two gives me a three-four that allows me to start poking. 
I won't be able to win, but my hope is maybe through cards like Cold Light Oracle we can get close. Like, if I top that Cold Light Oracle here, I wouldn't think... Well, I don't win the game, but... Really, really good. Sticky Fingers is interesting. I was hoping to hit the, the um, Hero Portrait or the 7 drop. Or 9 drop? 9 drop. Either one of those would be really good. The thing is his entire hand are supposed to start in his deck. So I also have like one draw left at Theo. In case he completes it here. I don't... Ah, uh, he... Okay, no. That's fine. He doesn't have really any threats for me to throw the uh, shield slam at, so. Yeah. Here we're hoping to draw Theo. Again, we could potentially steal quest reward here. He plays any of the other spells in his deck that didn't start there. He can't technically steal time warp. I doubt he's going to make that mistake. There's no point of playing into Theo. Oh, top deck Theo, let's go. If I top deck Theo right now, I'm a god gamer. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. This takes infinite turns. Not much I can do. Or eight spells off play in this. But you see, like, if we're playing as aggro, right, we have a lot of removal... The sticky fingers not being the sideboard helps a little bit against um uh, that rogue deck. This is really bad. This on time warp, please. On time warp, please. Okay, it's not time warp. Hmm. It wouldn't make game. I guess the only way I realistically win is Cold Light Oracle into Dirty Rat. That does win me the game. That's pretty good. A cold light oracle. Nice Trying to think if there's any way this backfires for him, and I don't think there is. Especially not if he continuously hits my minions with his shit. That's objection. Hopefully he doesn't have a potion in hand. Because if he just punches face for a bunch here, I can still win the game. Yeah, yeah okay, no, I lost. Right, I don't... I think I could come back here. He doesn't draw any cards is the problem. If he was drawing cards, I would stick in the game. Because he would be limited on how many extra turns he could take. But he lost. He did not hit any card draw off his random spells.
He is kind of drawing cards. Six cards left. Plays another one. He takes an extra turn. He plays a nice spell. Takes. Yeah, no. Okay, there's no way I come back here. He has infinite turns. On his extra turn, he casts a spell. He plays, uh, take an extra turn after this one. Gets a double because of this. Then he plays the other guy, which casts two of them. There's no way I was winning from there. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, and Quest Mage is our worst matchup. Uh, I'd rather not see it, but it's a type of thing where you can't really control. So, hopefully, in the next one, we don't hit it. All right, guys, yeah. With that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right. So here we have to worry about Tony. We lose the card Tony or we win through the card Tony. It's one or the other. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I hope everybody has a beverage. Uh, I'm currently drinking myself a nice Pepsi. It's pretty good. But I hope you guys also have a beverage. Also, the idea thing that I've been working on for a while now that I talked about yesterday uh is going to be well i'm going to announce it i want to say on sunday's video so make sure to watch that or at least the start of that video to know what i am going to be working on for the next couple what i'm gonna guess is going to be years but um yeah it's it's a very very long thing that i i i loosely referenced last time i streamed so i guess if you want a little bit, I think it was on the last time. Yeah, I think so. so. If you guys want uh spoilers before then, or if you guys just want to wait, uh, it should be getting announced very shortly. I I'm actually super excited. I've uh, it's it's weird to say I've been working on it because it's it's not something that's really hard, quote unquote, to work on. Oh, this would have been so sick here. Get three dudes, kill these three, have a 3-4 up. Um, But yeah, no, it's something that I've just been trying to put together to make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible. Yeah. I don't want to say too much because it's like... I, I don't think... I, I just think it's going to be pretty cool. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think I think we, we, we can all have a good time doing it. Yeah. I'm also trying to do it in a way where... Everybody could do it with me. All like all the viewers could do it with me, because it's uh, it is a long process. That, that's all. I'm that's all I'm gonna say about it. All right, getting back to the game. Uh, so far it's been pretty straightforward. Um, he hasn't really done much for in the form of quest line. I am really worried for Glide here. I want to keep Brawl and Barrel in my hand, which is why I'm worried for, for Glide. Here I'm going to probably just go Quartermaster. Or I could go Axe, but like that's not as good as use of my mana as Quartermaster Hero Power. But I think it might just be Axe to draw an additional card. Yeah. Also depends what he plays. Okay, never mind. It's just quartermaster, so that's all I have mana for. That's a very interesting draw. Okay. Ethereal Lackey is also probably the best one to get in this situation. It's the one that gives me the most amount of value. Alright. Hopefully no glide. It's the only one I don't want to see. He can... That's fine. Special sight is fine here. Again, glide is the is is the bad one for us to see. If he just goes glide here. I'm pretty sure I just lose the game, but they will never get okay. Okay. Anyone ought to avoid Duel to the face. Okay. So. Is this 
the luck you give me. Guess this is fine. Alright, that's that's okay. Hmm. From here he probably can't complete quests and play it on the same turn, so trying something like Dirty Rat would be very, very nice. Alright, Glad is less bad now because I played the Barov. But uh, I could I should have actually probably gone Brawl. All things considered, I think Brawl was a slightly better play. Murloc Ohms, huh? ETC. Those cards really do much is the problem here. I could go for ETC to try and get the Starfish to try and counter the Tony when he plays the Tony. I'll do this first, see what I get. Yeah, I think I have to go for... Oh, I should have actually went for Rakara. Should have just slammed Rakara here. Slamming Rakara plays around second glide. Did he not complete quest all the way last time? That would be really good. Oh, I couldn't play the cards. I was mana burned. Fine. And I just win by making this game go long. Also, if I draw the second dead man's hand, he can't draw it from me. Sucks. I do. Maybe I find Dirty Rat to eat the Tony. I was like, that's the main thing I want to do right now is eat Tony. What's this, this here? Draw a card. Draw whatever I uh, put to the top. Okay. That's pretty good. So a lot of armor if he draws the rest of the deck and he slams tony here and doesn't deal me too much damage uh shield slam just kills the tony um so yeah that's fine Be slamming Tony 100% next turn. Yeah. Brawl is the only card I want to see off the top. Shield Shutter is very interesting. These are all kind of shit. are so fucking bad these are actually so fucking bad and the fact that I didn't get anything like I don't have anything in my hand to give me armor is like the worst part of everything I needed one board wipe one board wipe I was fine and he hit my one piece of card draw really if I had heavy plating, I was fine. I just go heavy plating, shield, uh, shield, shield. Won the game. This is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. That game was supposed to be mine every single time. Both of his collides were, like, insanely perfect. Ugh. 
it's still like surprisingly like that game it should have been well i guess no his glides were too good but i feel like this matchup normally is supposed to be yours but you just have more damage you have more board wipes than he has threats but the glides are so disruptive i it was something i did not foresee being as bad as it was yeah to be fair it didn't help that he also like kind of just had everything and each mana burn was also like perfectly time. i guess the first one was like not that big of a deal but like the second one is really really bad because if i could have just slammed ricardo there i was fine i would have had an additional 10 armor i would have just been able to do could have gone for the exact same play i did and still had 10 armor to wipe the board and i would have won the game no doubt even if you would have toned me stole my deck the fireball was good enough to kill it so yeah oh well let's skip the next one and hopefully have it go better Wow, I'm in Super Dumpster Legend. God damn. Why it's Diamond Kids? Feels bad. Worst, comes th worst part is, too, I'm going to lose the Quest Mage player again because I never won this matchup. So sad. I don't think this deck can actually ever beat that deck unless I draw exactly the one of Dirty Rat. Oh, it's Secret Mage, actually. You mulled this card, it's Secret Mage. Okay. I guess it could also be like Luna's, but I don't believe in Luna's. I'm the only cycle dumb enough to play that deck. Okay. I have Quartermaster next turn, unless he plays a value spell, in which case... Oh, it's Mech Mage. Oh, you're a dick, sir. I want Brawl. Yes. I want Brawl or a sequence of top decks of Frozen Bunker into Shield Shatter. But Brawl is better. Built Biff. This is actually such a nuts card to draw here. Such a good card. Can play this to get Starfish. Next time I probably play that and then taunt it and then play Starfish. Yeah. It's slightly better overall. All right. I have Brawl up. I like I have mana for Brawl next turn. I also have my weapon up to kill off whatever's the last thing he plays. I also have Dead Men's Hands in case I want to start sending shit into my deck. Sorry, what? It's turn five. This motherfucker just played an eight drop. Are you serious? What in the good name of fuck is this? Bro. I don't want all that smoke. Alright. So right now, this brawl has like four good targets to survive. Five good targets to survive. What's the odds of the 5-7 or the 7-9 survive? Because my guess is high 80s. Oh, sometimes lucky. Fucking go. Draw a card off that. Oh my god. And we hit the second brawl. Fuck, I'm good at this game. I have no business being as good as I am at this game. Uh, What a good meme. Now we just play super safe because he has nothing in hand and unlike the paladin version of the deck he can't just draw five for two and we killed his biggest threat in the gaia so you have one security anomaton and two of the sharks both sharks are not as big of a threat if he doesn't have anything in hand and the automaton i mean again he also needs shit in hand for that so i'm feeling pretty good I want to play 
some of the cards in my hand before I play Dead Man's Hand, by the way. I'm looking to probably play this in this next turn, just to develop some form of a board, and then this probably the turn after. Out of it, I don't really want to copy any of these cards. I also probably just end up playing the Starfish. Oh, that's a card I'd actually like to copy, so I don't really want to play it here. Do this and then kill that. That's slightly better. Uh, I'm gonna take this stuff. It's just a cleaner to play next turn. Is this this? He's lucky that he is playing in such a slow deck, right? My deck is the furthest thing from fast. We have both of them. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to shuffle some of this garbage into my deck. Wanna hear my playlist? With how that went, I'm actually fine just slamming starfish. Slamming starfish. This pokes there, I poke there. This dies to that. Take three. And I have uh the four four as well on the battlefield. Oh my god. Alright. We'll play one more game. This is gonna be a potentially a very long video due to playing one more game but uh let's uh queue it up and let's see how it goes all right priest depending on what type of priest it is um we should be fairly favored The one game where this card's probably fucking useless. Okay, let me draw it. Yeah, if it's control, this card's not useless. We can steal Anduin and we'll win the game. We could steal Raza and we probably win the game. Against Aggro, that card is actually just a dead card. Against his start, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess no, it's fine. I can find Frozen Bunker still. If I find Frozen Bunker, I should be fine. Okay, that is like a mini Frozen Bunker. Take more damage this turn, next turn I wipe the board. And I gain 10 life. You can just play one more minion. This I don't also have to hero power. I'd actually love it if you played a whole bunch of more minions. Okay, you play another one. Play two more one drops out of your hand, please. So uh, I gain 12, back up to 32. Wipe the board. No, this should be GG. I'm not gonna emote. <laughs> I was about to be like, ah, oh, do I just emote? Does it tell this kid to fret the fuck off with his aggro deck? Nah. I just shit on him the right way. Playing a big ass heavy control deck. Alright. It's on the most amount of armor now, and Brawl is probably actually better, but. I want to demoralize him, not just beat him. <laughs> that is probably the most. Fucked away, I could say that, but not wrong. <laughs> I'm at 33. I get Brawl next turn, and you know, he loses. <laughs> get out of here with your aggro deck. Trying to think what sequence of draws allows them to win this game. And I don't think they exist. I'd be surprised if after I gain 5 off here and I hero power, he doesn't just concede. Yeah, 
I'm at 34 life. It's turn 7. You have 2 cards in hand. You're an aggro deck, and I'm holding 5 cards that are potentially answers. That, well, that one's pretty good here. I shall not lie. You can also just brawl here. 33% of the time, I'm really happy. Oh, that's still 2 damage to a creature in a sand, isn't it? Hmm. Let's just go with this. So if, I, if only the 2 3 survives, I'm happy. 66% of the time there, I was really happy with whatever the outcome was, right? I either get my 3 5 back, or I he doesn't have a board. It was only the small percentage where he kept the 3 5. That I was like a little bit like, ugh, fuck me. But, hey. I can go Murloc Holmes next turn. Okay. That was actually Mind Blast Law. It was in the card I thought it was. Let's go with this here. I'm okay with getting rid of my one of shield slam to get rid of both of his deal one da or deal two damage, deal three damage if the minions dies. Oh, he's also almost dead. Just noticed that. <laughs> I just noticed how low he actually was. Twenty-eight or nine, ten for him. He's an aggro deck. I out controlled the. Fuck out of him. That game was only winnable because of my draw on turn two, by the way. The fact that I drew the dry whiskers on turn two. Only reason I was able to win this game. That's just lethal. Where's the fun in that? Which card is in your opponent's starting hand? Which card is in your opponent's deck? Ah! It doesn't even ask me which one's in his hand because he doesn't have a hand. Uh, I'll put this one back in my deck. Alright. Boom, big wins. Oh, that, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm happy with that outcome. Alrighty. Okay. Wow. That game did not take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. Ooh, we completed more quests. Ooh. 53 cards to your hand with Sunwell. Interesting. I should have rolled this quest. Whoops. Fuck, we would have completed it. Also, for those who did not notice, there's a new mini set. Or there's a new set that just came out called Titans. <laughs> um, this is some pretty cool shit. The fact you get a free Zilliax here is like pretty dope. Uh, I am worried that that means that the Shadow Walk is gonna be purchased and not earned through collecting all the cards from the Witchwood, which would kind of suck. Then you get two new legendaries, um, and then those for the big pack, and then two legendaries, sixty packs for the small pack. Probably gonna end up getting both. But um, yeah, just so this way you guys know, in case you guys did not log on today yet, or yesterday, I guess. New card, you, you also get this for logging in. Choose a character, cast four random spells, target it if possible. This card seems really funny, and I really want to play a deck with it. So if you guys have any, leave them down below. I'm always looking to try new random decks. If you guys have any random meme decks you want to see also, comment them down below. I'm currently in the process of trying to find lists for 
odd quest line hunter as well as quest line paladin so if you guys do have any decks for those uh please uh, comment them down below as for dead man's hand though i love this deck it is the epitome of a pure control deck you have your life gain you have your removal you have two yogs as win cons sadly we didn't get cast me today but it would have been pretty dope you have duke to try and cuck their combo sticky fingers to fuck over all those shitty players that play kingsbane I also got a request for Kingsbane, so that might be coming up shortly, by the way. I'll be miserable, but I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, besides that, I, I I just love this deck. This list is not as fun, I think, as the other one I was playing. Uh, if you go back a couple weeks, if not a month ago or so, on the channel, there's another Dead Man's Hand list. That one was a little bit more fun. I personally prefer the, the uh, Nazoth lists over like all of them, uh, just so you guys know. The Nazoth list casts Nazoth, uh, the big Nazoth, the 10 drop. I don't know why I didn't just write Nazoth. Uh, here he is. Cast your Death Rattles, and your Death Rattles that you're playing is the 6 drop that has Reborn. Death Rattle came 3 life. Um, and it's pretty dope. You also have, like, Karthus, whatever, the 4 drop with Rush. I'm getting sidetracked, this guy. Argoth. Um, I do personally prefer that version, but... Slamming Yogs is also pretty fun, not gonna lie. Anyways though, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we continue winning and we get more dubs. Alright guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace!